actually in Rebels um, is, is some of my favorite Darth Maul stuff, you know, because like you really feel that kind of conflict inside Ezra of having Kanan and Maul kind of tugging at him. <laughs> um, so, you know, and obviously Twin, Twin Sons for me is one of the, is one of the coolest <clears throat> episodes. Um, you know, when, when you were doing that, that very did you, were, you, were you working off somebody or were you just rolling pretty much by yourself? Stephen Stanton. Stephen Stanton was there. Stephen Stanton was there doing a perfect delicateness. So that part wasn't difficult. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> to yeah. Imagine yeah. that character. Um, he was the, really originally there just to, to mark the lines and, and read off of. And it, it, he wasn't necessarily going to get that part. There was going to, I mean, there were a lot of ideas and there was a possibility of some auditions and stuff like that. And the moment he just started talking, everyone looked at each other and were like, and, and there was also argument of like, should it be more of a you and Obi-Wan? Should it be oh, Alec Guinness? And so he showed up just kindly to read off me. Mm. And oh, then, really? And then, so, so that's how he got in there. Yeah. And then he read it so well. I remember looking at Dave. <laughs> and then Stephen Santon did his performance and then he left going, oh, okay, nice. See you guys. All very yeah. humble. And he leaves, and then I go over to Dave. I'm like, so that's the guy, right? Like, we're just <laughs> going to use that. You just recorded it. It's done. You finished it. We're done. <laughs> you know, and, he, and, awesome. he, and we had this, I remember having a talk with, with him, and I'm like, you know, why, you know what? I'm trying to think if I should even say a few things, because there's some, there's some provocative things that I could, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get in trouble. Um, but, do it. But the, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, there, was, uh, there was definitely... I remember saying to him, I'm like, you know, I think at this point we know it has to be the Alec Guinness mm. character. I think also timeline wise, it's more appropriate, but like it's, but Steven Stanton just did it. And Dave was like, yeah, it's, it's better for the story. Right. I'm like, yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. It's like, so. I was, you know, I'm a big fan of, of, of highly elaborate, uh, you know, lightsaber fights, um, you know, and, and in the Clone Wars, you know, there's great scenes between, you know, Maul, his brother, and the Emperor having yeah. massive lightsaber fights. But the elegance of the lightsaber fight on in, in the Twin Suns episode was completely satisfying. There's, uh, what's great about it is every little shot, every little setup moment is a chess piece move um, by, you know, even Obi-Wan going for the different ready positions. Mm. You know, the thing that I've been saying for years is it's, you know, it's almost like when you bump into the high school bully, but, you know, you're like, you're 30 now. But you bump into the high school bully, you suddenly become 14 again, and you become petty and petulant and angry, and you're not, you know what I mean? Like you've un it's unresolved stuff, mm. and you haven't seen this person since high school. You know, it's the same thing with Obi Wan and right. Maul. It's like this grudge that goes way, way back. So you know, when Obi Wan, when Maul does his thing, the first thing Obi Wan does is he does his, you know, sort of his kid self. He turns into you and McGregor for a second. And then takes a breath and goes, oh, no, 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 that was the mistake. That's the guy that fought in the war. We learned that was not the way to go. Mistakes were made back then. I'm actually Ben Kenobi, you know, and he goes to the Alec Guinness pose. And then he's like, let's see if this, see if I can play the same trick on Maul. And then he assumes the Qui-Gon Jinn pose, thus cueing Maul up, who's still 14-year-old high school guy, bully, or whatever, mm. cues Maul up to try the same move that he tried on Qui-Gon. I mean, it's a very interesting interplay between the two. You're like, move, counter move, move, psychological game, psychological game. And, uh, and it all has to do with a huge misunderstanding on the part of, uh, on the part of Maul. Not, he does not get what he's looking at. He doesn't understand it until he gets, until he gets hit by the lightsaber. Then he's like, you know, cause he sees this guy and he's like, he's a old desert rat he's nothing and it's time to end this finally there were many times i could have ended it there were times where i tried to end it but didn't there are times i've hurt this person you know um and there are times that he's hurt me but it's time to put this away because this was when i was cut in half this was the last time it's the last time that maul that life made sense and ever since then it's been spiraling out of control in this weird cycle is you know um of of uh, rises and falls in this guy's life, so finally he sees this pathetic creature in the middle of the desert and says, "It's time to it's time to finish this and in a weird way move on with my life. This is the hope that I have that I can put myself together and I'm going to kill this guy and move on." And he completely misreads it. And the moment he the lightsaber hits him, he goes, "Oh, this is not a desert rat. This is a Jedi Master. He's he's not even a you know he's a Jedi Master on guard duty. Mm -hmm. And if he's this good." This is the most important guard post in the galaxy. And he puts it together. He's like, I, oh my, I understand how you survived. I understand what you're doing out here. I even understand partially who or what you are guarding. 
and then he maybe misses the point. Finally, at the end, he's going to revenge us. You know? <laughs> so close, so yeah. close. And to- then, um, just just to put a little button on that, mm-hmm. you know, the visual of Obi Wan holding uh, Maul. It's like reminiscent of Michelangelo's Pieta. I mean, it's on some high art shit. Well, we've Do you also think seen- Maul was redeemed. Well, we've also bit. seen that that he held uh, Satine the same way. He held Qui Gon Jinn the same way. Mm. It sort of right. shows what kind of a guy he is. Is that the enemy? The guy who killed those two people gets the same treatment that they do when he dies, mm. which is, shows who Obi Wan is. Yeah, you know? that's brilliant. So, what were you saying? I'm sorry. Uh, do you think Maul was a little bit redeemed in the end? There. That is not for me to say. <laughs> I, I have right. my opinions about that, but I, I think that um, because there was more dialogue there originally that we did, there was more dialogue that we recorded, and a lot of it was oh. taken out. And I think that was a good, good call. It's interesting. I think that there are so many people, it's like Dave says, that some of the fans, everyone cares about it for sure, but the fans right. need to take care to not become Sith, to not become so absolute in their thinking, to not, to not think that it has to, it's this way, it's that way, and it has to stay that way forever. And it Star Wars change. fans? No. Yeah, it's a very, so, <laughs> so it's interesting, if, if we had released the story reels with, all of the dialogue at Maul's death. I mean, there would surely be fans who were like, "Whoa!" But that was the original vision. Be like, it's not the original vision until it comes out, guys. It's you know right. what I mean. It's right. you know, there these yeah. things change and evolve. And I happened to, when I saw how it was evolving, I was absolutely in. I was absolutely in support of stripping out the dialogue at Maul's death because it let the fans interpret it more. It put it more in the fans' hands in terms of. Exactly what you're asking is Maul redeemed? Is he not? Does he does he understand now? Is he missing the point? Is he you know? It's it's really up open to interpretation. The dialogue made it a little bit more explicit. So I know what right. we were intending to do, but we we turned away from that. 